What's going on today, YouTubers? Welcome to another edition of Walking Reviews. We are going to be taking a look at a new production knife today, and that is a Spider Co. The Ouroboros. It's uh, their new compression lock knife. And very interesting design as well. So, real quick, the specs. We have a 2.8 inch blade of VG10 steel. You can see there it's got Spyderco's classic full flat grind leaf shaped blade. The cutting edge is only about two and a half inches long. There you can see the symbol for the Seki City, Japan. And there it is right there. Um, obviously the deployment method is the spider hole on this one. Um, not, not much else to really say about the blade. It's just got the uh, classic Spider Co. grinder satin. The handles are four and an eighth inch. And they are G10, very grippy G10. You can see that pattern, it's got like the uh, denim pattern to it. It has a uh, stainless steel backspacer and the nested stainless steel liner for the compression lock. Um, this isn't quite as smooth as the Sage 5 was. The Sage 5 was my first compression lock knife, although I have handled like paramilitary twos and stuff like that but um, this is a little bit tighter and not not quite like a free dropping you know you actually have to kind of whip it whip it real good to get it to close you can see the uh, backspacer is just partial so you do get some flow through on the construction um, I don't even know if this thing has washers in there because you if you can see the tolerances are super duper tight. Let me see if I can get some better light here. There we go. Yeah, the tolerances are extremely, extremely tight. And the blade just seems to ride on, come on, on this side at least, it just seems to ride on that stainless steel liner. I'm assuming there's probably a really thin nylon washer in there. Uh, I doubt they would have the blade just riding on the liner. Um, it does have a lanyard tube down here. It has the Spyderco wire pocket clip set up for relatively deep carry. And that is uh, available for left-handed left -handed people as well. Although I have to say, as far as switching this to a left-handed knife... Um, if you are a lefty, I don't know that I would really recommend this just because of how skinny this part of the handle is. It's, I mean, it's, you know, it's thinner than my finger. So getting purchase while you're disengaging the compression lock might be tricky if you're a lefty. I kind of tried it out and I'm not exactly very dexterous with my left hand, but it was a chore to get the thing to close with my left hand so um, fairly simple construction there's your stop pin pivot and then you have this final anchor point um, really thin knife uh, this is under 0.4 inches I believe or right around 0.4 inches it's also extremely lightweight it's only 2.6 ounces, so very pocket friendly. Um, it's also not crazy wide like the Sage is. It's a lot thinner, and it does have kind of a cool profile when it's closed. You know, I can see why they called it the Ouroboros. It has that kind of circular, almost teardrop shape, and the uh, kind of like the yin-yang type look to it. 
Um, as far as the blade goes and the ergonomics, you really only have one grip option, and that's you know your index finger here and in the forward choil, and then the rest of your hand just kind of wrapping around the rest of the handle. Um, it really reminds me of a caper knife. You know, I, I don't know if you guys are familiar with a caper knife, but it's really a hunting knife, uh, mainly used for like skinning and stuff like that. This really, really reminds me of a caper knife. That profile is super duper caper. Yeah. <laughs> um, the fit and finish is pretty good. Um, the centering just barely favors the uh, non-lock side. I mean, this doesn't, I don't, it just favors this side, the show side, I guess. <clears throat> um, as far as retention with the pocket clip, it is extremely grippy G10 and a fairly tight wire clip, so if you have thicker pants, uh, definitely keep that in mind. This will be tough to get in and out of the pocket. What else can I say? The action is pretty good. Like I said, the grip is a little awkward. You know, you can open it in all the classic Spyderco ways. Um, the blade shape, like I said, it definitely resembles caper, which means it's not going to be the greatest <clears throat> for like food prep. I mean, if it's small, if it's something really small, then yeah, um, this will definitely suit your needs in the kitchen. But for larger stuff, um, a longer blade is definitely more desirable. And this is, it has a very abrupt, um, straight portion of the edge it's all belly which makes this ideal for like hunters any hunters out there who need to skin stuff this would be my choice um that's really all i have to say about it uh definitely a nice little package uh great edc for like opening boxes and stuff maybe small kitchen prep but uh that's about it all right guys i'll catch you on the next video take it easy